Hey, Star Wars action figure fans, welcome back to another Black Series review. Go Big Granddaddy Thrawn, Grand Admiral. Oh man, I've been looking forward to this one so much. I'm so happy he's here. Kesselronhair.com is where you should be pre-ordering your action figures from here in Australia. Um, yeah, I've <laughs> got nothing else to say. Very, very excited to be adding the Grand Admiral, especially just after last week getting Enoch and the Night Trooper. Um, yeah, I'm excited to continue to add characters to what has been my favourite Disney Plus series so far. It's a nice picture of uh, Mr. Mr. Lars Mikkelsen as Granddaddy Thrawn. There we go, focus a bit more. Looking good. You can just sort of see Ahsoka's arm. That is the last one I'm waiting for to come in. Nice little write up there on the back. But yeah, just works in the packaging. The white suit on the blue with the black. It's just, it's perfect. But uh, yeah, I'm here to open toys and play with them. So that's, let's do that and take a look. All right, here is the Grand Admiral out of the packaging. And man, he is looking so good. He is absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really happy with this figure. He <laughs> looks really good. Uh, very quickly with the accessories, he just comes with his his blaster, which is cool. It's a nice, nice nifty little thing. Doesn't need much more than that. He's uh, he has armies at his disposal, so yeah, simple blaster for for defense is cool. And that fits nicely in his holster there. Uh, let's get a nice close up look at that head sculpt. It's just. Bang on, Lars Mikkelsen. It's just, it's so nice. I'm going to do my best to hold it nice and steady for the camera. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Paint app's nice and clean. You're always going to get tiny, minor little bleeds and stuff, like a little bit of hair just over the ear, but a little bit of the blue, the blue neck onto the, uh, onto the, collar there but that's yeah it's not a big deal nicely sculpt sculpted hair there uh, yeah casting casting Lars Mikkelsen in the role was just it was a no-brainer absolute no-brainer You know, other sort of paint details and stuff throughout the figure. Obviously, the uh, the rank badge there is nice and clean. The sort of the gold color epaulets on the shoulders look good. Little code cylinders in each pocket. And again, unless I'm mistaken, this is uh, pretty much an entirely new figure. The exception of, I believe, the arms. Like from the original Thrawn as well. We'll do a little comparison with that one afterwards. But yeah, aside from that, I, th I believe the rest of it is entirely new. He's got new legs. The original one had the uh, the double double ball double peg sort of double joint <laughs> in the knees. This is the best way I can say it. Nice black boots. They look good. But yeah, the pants. Nicely sculpted. I still don't know what to call those. The big sort of baggy things. It's like he's got a pocket full of change. I will spend it wisely. Yeah, just... Sculpted really nicely. Yeah, he's sort of got the... Uh, I know everyone sort of picked on him for having a little bit of a dad bod. But, uh, you know, that's all in the posture, I think. Someone with a with a fitting shirt in the navy probably stands with their with their back super straight, shoulders back. It's quite quite normal, I think. You know, the internet can be quite pathetic at sometimes, and you know they did it with Boba Fett when he made his appearance in the Mandalorian, and they did it with Thrawn. I think it's I think it's just silly, just silly people. It's not necessary. As a dad-bodded human myself, 
<laughs> I'm just not a dad. Um, yeah, otherwise, the figure's really nicely painted. The hands, you know, I like the sort of nice relaxed hand on that side, and the trigger finger on that side. A little, couple of little silver details and stuff on the belt. Looks good. Articulation-wise, he's got the uh, the ball joint in the head, ball joint in the neck. Got a ball hinge in the elbow, uh, shoulders. Ball hinges in the elbows. Ball hinges in the wrist. This one's in and out, and this one is up and down. He has the ball and socket joint there in the waist. If we lift up his little skirt, no, we'll just do that. Ball and sockets in the hips. No thigh articulation on this one. Doesn't need it. He's just going to stand there. Ball hinges in the knees, ball hinges in the ankles, and then that swivel in the foot for the rocker joint. So he is exception, exceptionally articulated for a man that is just going to stand around most of the time. So, uh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of a lot of people that waited a very, very long time to see Grand Admiral Thrawn come to life. To get him in Rebels was uh, was one thing, but to have that story continue post-Return of the Jedi, and what is sort of unfolding throughout the Ahsoka series now, so good. Just going to do a peg test on the feet. 2024. Beautiful. He's in the uh, KR stand from KesselRunHair.com. We make them ourselves. And he does stand. Formidable ch looking chap. That perfect posture. Look of superiority. Once heralded by the late Count Dooku. Now held by the Grand Admiral Thrawn. Let's do a little side-by-side -side with his uh, Rebels counterpart. This is the archive version that had the update. And I took the Salamiri that came with Luke. Arguably, that was just a pack-in from Hasbro to give to Thrawn. But yeah, this guy sort of stands among my heir to the Empire sort of set of figures. But yeah, nice interpretations of the character. I still think this figure it rocks. Big time, really, really like Thrawn from, you could say he's from the books. He doesn't have the uh, correct epaulets that he would have in Legends, but who cares? Once the Salamiri is sitting on his shoulder, who cares? Still a great Thrawn. But yeah, just looking at the arms, I think yeah, the arms are the same sculpt. But everything else is, is brand spanking new, as far as I can tell. really good really really good love to hear your thoughts folks drop a comment down below tell me how thrawny you are <laughs> um now nah, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the review drop a comment let me know what you think give the video a thumbs up subscribe subscribe yeah do all the things i've told you to do three times um or don't i'm not the boss of you thank you for watching i do appreciate your time however See you again very soon for some more Star Wars action figure reviews and goodness. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to Sith Lord 229's channel this weekend. Uh, we'll be doing a bit of a gaming greats live stream with, with Sith Lord himself, Daniel East 1000, and Robo Quiff Collects. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So I hope you can join me, join, join in for that stream. Again, jump over to Sith Lord 229. Uh, you'll know who he is. You'll know who he is. You don't need directions. All right, folks, we'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.